Well, it shouldn't come as much of a shock that the Ishmaelite Mohammedans would be up to their usual antics they do, that they've been doing since their pedophile false prophet started their Mohammedan cult, essentially. Uh, Nigeria seems to be a hot spot for a lot of this stuff. Uh, this is on uh, International Christian Concern. It says, 17 Christians killed by militants in Nigeria's southern Kanduna. I don't use that term Christian because it's not, um, it's not scriptural in the sense of the early church didn't call themselves that. They were given it as like a slur. Okay, I don't follow Christianity. I follow uh, the, the uh, Church of Jesus Christ, Church of the Living God. But I'll just use that word for, you know, some people know what I'm talking about. But check this out. This is on, uh, continuing on the article. It says, Muslim militants recently killed 17 unarmed Christians in the uh, Yuguan Wakali community in Zangon Katif, LGA in Nigeria's Kanduna state. Kanduna is the country's uh, is in the country's dangerous middle belt region where militants have attacked Christian communities for years. Though there are several reasons for the violence, one major motivation for the militants appears to be the religious animosity, given its grossly disproportional targeting of Christian communities over the years. In its most recent attack, the militants came up at night using sophisticated weapons. A local ICC staffer reviewed pictures of 14 leftist victims on the ground in Yugoan Wakali. Three more died of their wounds in the hospital, a community leader told ICC. Local, go local government officials said they will investigate the attack, accusing the military of allowing the attack despite the presence of military checkpoints nearby. Policing in Nigeria uh, is directed by the federal rather than local authorities. The militants have been attacking Christians in southern Kanduna and destroying their, their crops in recent months. Hey, just these Ishmaelite Mohammedans doing what uh, Ishmaelite Mohammedans do best acting like a bunch of wild men, like it says in Genesis 16 verse, uh, I think it's Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12, that's the, the scripture. It says in the article, uh, the uh, governor of Kanduna, Nasir El Rafai, has a long history of allowing attacks on Christian communities and punishing Christian communities who protest the security situation in the area. Since taking office as governor of Kanduna state in May 2015, El Rafai, has repeatedly endangered Christian communities by ordering them into strict lockdowns. These lockdown orders, which trap villagers in their homes, prevent villagers from organizing early warning systems and making militant attacks even more deadly as villagers are no longer have the warning they need to flee impending attacks. Despite international condemnation of the lockdown orders, El Rafai has continued to punish Christians through his technique. In 2020, he locked down a Christian majority agricultural area over two months during the planting season. Militants taking advantage of his lockdown orders killed more than 100 Christians during that time. An ICC staffer will be visiting the village for more details. Please pray for the Christians in Nigeria. You know, and the thing about this is that they're not radical Muslims. They're just Muslims. They're just doing what the uh, wild men described in Genesis 16 verse 11 and 12 will do. Because how is Ishmael described? A wild man. So I expect his uh, Mohammedan barbaric, you know, his uh, Ishmaelite Mohammedan descendants, his spiritual descendants, to behave like a bunch of savages. Because that's just how the Word of God depicts the, uh, depicts Ishmael, I'll put it that way. So this is not shocking one, one bit. Not at all. Because Muhammad did the exact thing. They're just emulating their a devil-possessed false prophet. So I anyway, want to point that out. You can call this Islamophobia all you want. It's called telling the truth. So, I mean, you would have called the angel of the Lord Islamophobic when he said that Ishmael is a wild man. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.